a block slides from rest down a line of greater slope of a smooth plane inclined at 25 degrees to the horizontal. Calculate the speed of the block when it has travelled 3 metres. So what we need to do is to draw a diagram. And that's always a good idea with a mechanics problem. So we'll draw a slope at 25 degrees. There's my block. Now what forces are acting on the block? Well, there'll be the weight acting down mg and a normal reaction for the, the block touching the slope. It's smooth, therefore there's no friction. Right, so we have a component of the weight making it going, uh, going downwards. We have an acceleration. And what we need to do is find that acceleration. So resolving along the plane, we're gonna take this way as positive. So we're going to have the weight. Now the weight here will be mg sine, this is sine opposite the angle, sine of 25. If this is 25, this angle here will also be 25. So mg sine 25 is going to be equal to mass times acceleration. Now this is good because we don't actually need to know what the mass is in this situation because the masses will cancel out. And then we get the acceleration is g sine 25 degrees. We'll just leave it like that because uh, we're going to use it again. So using v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as, we need to find the speed after it has traveled 33 meters. So v squared will be equal to zero because it starts from rest, plus two times my acceleration, which is g sine 25 times the distance, which is three. And that gives me that v squared is going to be 6g, 3 times 2, 6g sine 25. In order to find v, we need to take the square root. That will give me 4.984, which is 4.98 meters per second. So this has been a video to show you how to calculate the speed of a block sliding down a smooth slope. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.